Greetings to everyone. Today I want to introduce to you a new video about Biowell Gas Discharge Visualization Camera, GDV Camera, uh, based on Kirlian photography and, or Kirlian effect. And I would like to show you the reproducibility of this device. And um, there are a lot of complaints in uh, social uh, networks about the in very low stability of the Kirlian photography and most people who are, um, in most cases, they are not even acquainted with this technology. They say that it's irreproducible and it, it's not stable. So that's why you cannot rely on, uh, on the parameters and all the results of this technology. So I would just make a real time demonstration so that you can see what it can. So we will use the Biwell device, this one. So um, it's ready for calibration now. Calibration is needed for tuning the parameters of the device and of the software to the environmental conditions in which we work. So I go to calibration and I click start. So now the device will do the calibration itself. You don't have to touch it. You just um, put it there and within less than 20 seconds, it will finish the tuning, the calibration process. So it's done and we are ready to go. So uh, what will I do? I will be doing scans of myself um, and I will be doing scans of the metal cylinder that is installed on the device. So. I will just show you that now it's just a piece of metal, circular one. So I will just create a card called, for example, cylinder. Mm, we'll randomly select birthday for this cylinder doesn't matter. And we will do the full scan. So we will just imagine that we are measuring 10 fingers and we will capture them. So, but as you see, I am, it's absolutely round shape. It's because uh, we are measuring the metal cylinder. So we can scan every second, so it's pretty fast. We click analyze, we get the first result. So now we can repeat the full scan again. Um, take into consideration that when the metal cylinder is installed on the device, we are not able to ventilate the in uh, the air that is inside where in which the gas discharge is actually happening the corona discharge so that's why um, it's just physics and chemistry that the concentration of ozone will be um, accumulating slowly and um, the corona discharge will deplete again slowly with the um, increase of concentration of ozone so i will repeat this kind of process four times just in front of you so you will see it real time that i'm not setting up anything uh, before this experiment so everything in real time you can see the time here of each experiment this time is taken from uh, the settings of uh, the server and computer so um, Let's do it four times. So now we have four measurements, one by one, and we can compare them with each other. We send them to compare. And let's take a look. So you see that the stress uh, in our in the bio software is calculated as the curvature of the picture. So how 
smooth it is, how homogeneous the light is. So it stays the same. Of course, it's metal cylinder. It has no um, variations of the different flows like we have in a human body. So the energy, so it's 72.3, 72.8. So even if we calculate and we um, take this maximum and minimum, so we can take it uh, or calculate this like 72.83 minus 72.31, that is the lowest. So the, between the maximum and minimum, there's 0 0.52 difference. So 0 0.52 is less than 1%, less than 1%, because 1% from this is 0 0.72. So if we want to be exact, it's 0.7% variability. So it means this device is able to capture the images with the stability of 99.3%. So it means the device itself is very stable, the device. The process that is being created there with the corona discharge and photographing is very stable. So 99.3%, you have seen it yourself right now. So um, if we go back and we'll try to capture the person, instead of a cylinder so then you will find out that the variability of the results of a person depends on the person because the device itself as we have seen right now works with 99.3 percent stability if you have variability of five percent or ten percent or even twenty percent it's all because of the internal properties of the person whom you are scanning. So, more stressed is the person and less energy this person possess, then high will be the variability. So, we can do a small test right now. We will do an express test and I will be uh, putting only two fingers in order to make it faster, not to make this video too long. So, first scan, second scan, and lines. Of course, when we are calculating something based on two fingers, not on 10 fingers, the average values variability increases. But still, uh, in order to make it faster, we will do it in this mode, okay? One, two, analyze, once again. One, two, third time completed, and the last fourth time, one, two, analyze. Of course, I'm a little bit nervous about what I'm doing right now, and I'm also always curious and what will be the results. And you see that my stress has a little bit increased during these tests. But you see the first three scans were pretty reproducible, whilst the first two were exactly the same. But if we look at the energy, not the stress, the curvature of the image, you see that it's pretty the same, even if we take that um, the biggest difference between them is, well, it's not even two points, it's like 1.9. So 1.9 is about 3% or 4% of variability. The, the difference is 4%. So it means even if we calculate the standard deviation, it will be much lower. But in this case, between the highest value of energy and the lowest one, we have only 4% from which 1% belongs to the device itself because device gives 1% variability. And it means my variability is only 3% more. Overall, four. But that's how stable it is. So this technology is able to give very uh, highly reproducible results. 
You just need to know and study how to correctly operate it. And then it will give you very, very useful information about the energy state of the person, stress levels and the balance between left and right sides of the person, left, right hemispheres of hands. So I am recommending you not to rely on those um, articles in internet from the people who never really used properly this technology, uh, who are saying that this is not reliable and not reproducible. As I have uh, shown you in this video, it's highly reliable and highly reproducible. So, as you have seen in this video, this device that we just tested, the Biowell 2.0 device, is highly reproducible and highly reliable. It gives absolutely the same results. It works with 99.3% stability and it is able to measure my state with very high accuracy. So enjoy by well and measure your energy stress and balance in any conditions at any time of the day, whenever you need it or uh, help others to understand these conditions. Enjoy it. Take care.